Hey guys, I'm Melina and today we are going to do some important questions from class 10 Anthrogen lesson 4. So let's get started. So here is the first question. Quelles sont les formalités pour avoir une carte de lecture? So what are the formalities or what is the procedure to get your reading card? So there are three important things that you require, three important documents. Une pièce d'identité, une autorisation des parents, une quittance d'électricité ou de loyer. This question has come many a times in boards and even in your exams, pre-boards, you would have seen this question. It can be framed in multiple ways, like it can also be asked, de quoi a-t-on besoin pour avoir une carte de lecture? So whenever they ask, what do you need to get your reading card? These three points are important. Moving on to the next question. Qu'est-ce que c'est le panchatantra? Again, Many people forget that this question is also important because it's written in a corner in your book on page 38. If you check, it's in the bottom part. These exact lines are mentioned and that's all you need for your answer. Le Panchatantra, c'est une collection de contes et de fables sanscrites en cinq livres. Elle a peut-être été réunie au cinquième siècle par les savants Vishnu Sharma. So it is a collection of... Uh, small stories in Sanskrit in five books and it was perhaps uh, compiled in a single book by Vishnu Sharma in the 5th century and this can also be asked as Ke save vudyu Panchatantra what do you know about the Panchatantra whatever the question might be where, wherever it is asking you to describe the book Panchatantra you have to write this answer it's given in your book as well third question is Que peut-on emprunter à bibliothèque? What can we borrow from the library? So in your uh, chapter, there will be a there's a page where all you know what what all is available in the library: books, CDs, uh, comic books, magazines, etc. A whole list is given here. From that, you can write a few items like on peut emprunter des BD, CD, des romans, des livres, etc. Uh, you can add uh, more or write whichever uh, you want to write. These are a few examples. Fourth, again an important question. Nomme quelques rubriques dans le journal. Name a few sections of the newspaper. Now this is given on page 37 of your Anthrogen. Uh, in a box towards the side, all your uh, sections of the newspaper are given. Just learn around three to four of them and you can write. So. Quelques rubriques uh, dans les journaux sont, just add a S over here, sorry, quelques rubriques. La météo, le sport, l'éditorial, la culture, les faits divers, etc. Fifth one, Arsène Lupin est un roman policier. Sorry, uh, I told you the answer. Arsène Lupin, it's the name of a detective or crime novel. So, I don't know if you will get one markers or fill in the blanks like these, but just in case. Sixth question. Now, this is not the way it will come in your exam, but as individual questions, they can come. So, these are a few important books and their authors. So, qui a écrit Les Tours du Monde en 400 jours. So, Jules Verne, Les Petits Princes, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, Le Rena et Le Reza, La Fontaine, and Les Petits Chaperons Rouges, Perol. Now, from here, I would say, these two are the most important ones and many children get confused which one is the author of which book so don't conf get confused between fontaine and antoine de saint exupéry you can even write it as jean de la fontaine you can write the whole name it's the same thing fontaine would also do so uh, these were a few important authors and their books then we have the seventh question, qui est Perol? Now, this uh, question comes from page 39. It's from the questions itself. You have to rearrange the sentence or something similar. It's the first question on page 39. There, they talk about Perol and his book. So, from there, a question can be found that qui est Perol? Perol est un écrivain français du 17e siècle qui a écrit le conte Le Petit Chaperon Rouge. This much will do. And finally, the eighth question, a quoi sert une carte de lecteur? What does a reading card do? Or why do you need a reading card? How does it help you? So, avec une carte de lecteur, on peut emprunter des romans, des BD, des revues, etc. So, with a reading card, you can borrow books, 
CDs, uh, magazines, everything that is available in the library. So for your upcoming boards, I would say this is one of the most important chapter from the literature perspective because many questions can be formed from this chapter and I've covered the most important or frequently asked ones. So make sure you know the answers to all these eight questions. I will uh, put the PDF of this PPT in the description box. It will be available on my website. Also, the important letters from this chapter have been uploaded on my website. So I'll link that as well in the description and that was all for today's video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time i'm on youtube i'll see you in my next one till then take care and bye bye